What's going on my gamers, it's Scott of Underdog Gaming UK I just got a uh, new Invasion DLC for Ghosts, so we're on Favela I think that's how you say it anyway For those that don't know, it's a Modern Warfare 2 remake Well, when I say remake, it's, I think personally it's a copy and paste with different texture and things It's really, really good, it's quite surprising It shows you just how different Modern Warfare 2 engine that we're running is different to what we've got now It is quite surprising guys I am on bots because I wanted to just show you around and show you differences because if you take a bit of a look, it gives us a bit of, more of a chance to have a good look at the map. The textures are mental. If you remember on the first one, that one even there and it was just bog standard shutters basically. The differences in the game, it's identical, it looks really really, I think they've done an amazing job at it. But the textures, it does, it does show you the difference. With the map pack you've also got a gold tech knife and I would do some gameplay of that if you want so that's something I want to know if you want some gameplay of that I'll do it I've had a quick mess about with it and what I like about that is it's just the original knife but the beauty about it is it does not have the animation what ghosts put in what a lot of people didn't like I didn't mind it I didn't think it slowed you down too much but it bears identical to the tap knife now guys so that's something quite good I don't know what he's shooting at him So it does dramatically speed up things, guys. Where's he gone? Is there? Oh no! So I think they've done an amazing job. The first thing I will say you do notice is because of the amount of textures into the maps compared to what we used to have. Um, the characters, judging by the dark textures in fitting of the gameplay and the style of Ghosts and what it represented after the alien invasion and all that stuff guys your characters blend in very much so if they're using a bog standard character they do blend in very much so into the background so that is one thing you have to watch out for guys but I, I think it's an amazing job I really really do so I think some of you might want to use a, if you're not brilliant with your eyesight like me, you might want to use um, a thermal or something like that, just to give you that bit of an heads up guys. Because as you can see they do blend in quite well, which is good and bad it depends. I think if you're a rusher it gives you a chance to get them a couple more kills. If you're a camper, well yeah, enough said guys. But as DLC goes, I'm really happy with Ghost DLCs because I think it's good that they bring back old maps. I think it's really nice. I would, I want that. I want that. I want that. I want to try show you that strike package if I can, which is the AC130. I have used it, guys. It's very, very nice. Bears identical to the Modern Warfare 2 kill streak, which is quite good. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Is it still there? Can we get it from up here? No, it's gone. We'll use this chinny orchid then. But it behaves the same. It runs for a roughly the same amount of time from what I can make out. I'm going to say get him. And I think it's quite cool that they brought that back as part of the, the map. I think it, it really works out really, really well. I mean, they're, they're putting a lot of time and effort into the map packs and what they're going to induce with my stuff. I would like to know, because we've we've had Modern Warfare 3 map packs or remakes whatever you want to call them and then we've had um, Modern Warfare 2 because we had ignition although I do prefer the style they did with this where they copy and pasted it and just added different textures to it than a remake because ignition's good but the remake of ignition should I say but I don't know there was just something about it that were a little bit too new for me if you see what I mean. So I do think it's quite clever and I do like this map because it works very very well for a lot of game modes. It's very friendly for any kind of play style. Just die. All of you. <laughs> She's taking some killing. So let me know guys what map you'd like to see next. I'll tell you what I think might work quite well with it because it's size at maps on a standard ghost map I think some of World at War maps would be really really nice to 
keeper in back. I think that would be kind of different, guys. And I tell you, I would love them to bring the war game more back. I think that would fix a lot of people's issues with Ghost, to be honest. I think it'd sort a lot of problems out, because a war game mode would be perfectly suited to the playstyle of Ghost with the maps and things. We'll like to know your opinion on that. I know quite a few people's going to be happy I've done this gameplay and that's why I've done it in bots for you, just so I can get it up with no issue with lag or anything, because I'm having quite a few issues with my internet at the minute, guys, so... But it is what it is. But I just wanted to bring this to you and... What you see, what I thought of it and things like that, and for those that are on PS4 and PS3, it gives them a chance to have a look at it, things like that, guys. Where's he gone? I heard him. And I know Private Soap will be very, very happy to see this gameplay. Because this was one of his most favourite maps on Modern Warfare 2. So he'll be extremely happy, guys. And I like to make my subs happy, if I can. But if you haven't got the map, then I'd definitely get it. I know some people are going to whinge about the knife, but personally... I think they are trying to cater for everybody guys, because at the end of the day they brought us a sniper which I was really impressed at because let's face it guys that's the first time sniping has been recognised, although they nerfed the hell out of us but there you go, they give us a sniper and they nerf it so 90% of people can't use it but it is what it is, and they've brought assault rifle and a submachine gun slash hybrid, so I think it's quite good that they have actually brought a knife because there's quite a lot of knife enthusiasts on Call of Duty now. So I think that is really, really good, guys. I think that's quite nice that they've thought about everything. They are thinking about quite a lot of different people, how they play. And bringing back for Villa, it's quite a good map for a knife. So I think bringing a knife back now, what a good idea. Because it is a good map to use a knife on, guys. I know when I was a lot better at college, I used to run around, search and destroy with a knife and have a good time and have a lot of fun. And um, this is set on hardened. I think, and as you can see, it is a good map. It's a good map for noobs and more experienced players. So it's evenly balanced map. Whether you're playing domination, search and destroy, all that good stuff, guys. So yeah, what map would you like to bring back? Things like that, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think of map pack if you've got it. Let me know what map you would like to come back from an old Call of Duty. And if you've used knife, let me know what you think about it because I think it's quite nice how they've eliminated that stabbing animation and it's just like a tap knife now. So for knife enthusiasts, it's, they've done something for them as well, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll upload other maps and things like that, guys, and let you know what I think. Ta-da!